Hey guys, it's me, Gigi, back from Maganda for you guys. And welcome back to my channel. So, let's get on with the tea here. Just a few days ago, I posted this tweet right here. So, I was being very vocal about this because of the recent Instagram post posted by Ashley Rivera, also known as Petra Mahalimuyak, on going to the Pride Parade but not being in line with what the LGBTQIA community wants, which is same sex unions or marriages. At sabi po niya, pupunta po ako sa mga gutong klaseng pride because I love my gay friends but I don't necessarily agree or believe in whatever they say. And to me, why do you have to be so selective of the rights of the LGBTQIA community and then proclaim yourself as an ally? There were a lot of positive reactions towards the tweet and a lot of people agreed with what I said. But there were a select number of people who, um made some choices and tweeted these things in front of me and ano pa naman yan napaka napaka wrong na may ganito pa rin klase ng mga tao so I felt like there were still a lot of people who do not necessarily know how to be an authentic ally to the LGBTQIA community and that's why I'm posting this video for you guys so if you guys are interested to become an ally for the LGBTQIA community and I urge you to be one because if you're not you're just one of Satan then Keep on watching! So I posted on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram on what are ways people can be LGBT allies. And I compiled them and created Ang Sampung May Hiwagang Batas ng Mga Bakla. Rule number one. To be a true ally, you must be able to understand that LGBTQIA individuals are just as human as any other humans are. And that's why they deserve equal rights just as any other human being does. Kailangan mo kaming tanggapin without any form of reservations. Understand that there are rights that we do not have currently that you straight people do and we need to get them. Usually, people mention that kailangan namin ng extra rights, nagkapaka-importante na kami, nagkapaka-special, kaya gusto namin ng mga gantong klaseng rights. When in reality, you've been relishing these kinds of rights ever since you were born. And kami, pinaglalaban pa rin namin to. And to be a true ally, you must be able to have full acceptance towards whatever we're fighting for. Eh, hindi pwede na, I support you guys, pero hindi siya akma sa relationship ko. I, I accept you guys, pero blank, blank, blank. Hindi pagiging ala yon. If you really truly accept that you're going to be fighting for us and walking with us alongside one another in getting those rights that we do not have right now. To be an ally doesn't necessarily mean LGBTQIA member ka na. Kapag sumusuporta ka ba ng rights ng mga balyena? Balyena ka ba? Hindi naman, di ba? Hayop ka ba? Hindi ka hayop! Isa kang tao! Baka mukhang hayop? Oo! Charo! Rule number two. Never ever use the words gay or a tranny or any iterations of it as an insult. Guys, hindi po maging insulto ang gay o ang pagiging transgender. Kung gusto nyo talaga mga insulto, ito gawin nyo. Kung ikaw, DDS ka. Masakit kaya na, no? Mapagkakamalan kang DDS. I think that's very, very insulting to my very being. Pero back to the point, hindi po talaga siya insulto, guys. It's who you are as a person. It's our identities. It's our very truth. It's our very being. And we do not want to feel any sort of insult because you consider it as one. Kung gusto nyo talaga makasakit, sabihin mo, single ka. Rule number three. Never ever make fun of LGBT struggles. It's not a joke being an LGBT member. And dami naming hirap na naranasan bilang mga LGBTQIA members. May mga LGBT people dyan na binubugbog, na pinapatay, tapos may katawan lang po natin. Gusto ko lang pong i-call out si Vince Van Dorpe na hindi po joke ang pagka-come out bilang isang gay. What you did is something a lot of people are experiencing as a form of reality to them. I swear, hindi siya, it's no laughing matter that LGBTQI people has to compromise their way of living just to be able to come out. And this is something a lot of LGBTQI people aspire for, na closeted kayon, who can't seem to come out because they will be killed for it. Please apologize. Because what you did is not right. And stop being so self-righteous saying that you have LGBT friends, so you're an ally. Ka. No! You don't get to say that you're an ally. We do. We just know if we're going really to support you. And right now, you ain't doing that, honey. Rule number four. It is not right as an ally to hot seat 
or kumprontahin ang isang closeted LGBTQIA person on their sexuality. I just want you guys to know that LGBTQIA people are just as human as all of you guys are. And it's not necessary for them to have to come out to you. What I'd rather want you to do, more understanding of that person, on why they do not want to come out, and just let them live their life just as regular humans do. If handa mag come out ang isang tao, magka come out at magka come out din sila. The reason why they're not ha they're not coming out is because of a lot of prejudice, hatred, and stigma when it comes to being LGBTQIA. That's why these people choose to not come out. It is our obligation to normalize this coming out phase. And until that happens, when it's normal, you do not force them to come out. So please, just respect their privacy. Rule number five. Always ask an LGBTQIA person's preference when it comes to their pronouns. To us, it's very affirming if we're called the right pronouns. For example, if I go to the mall and I'm beautiful and I call myself ma'am or miss, to me, I feel very in line with my body and with my mind because other people validate me as a real woman. Pero, kapag na, sir, na, wireless sis, ang sakit sa dibdib, no? Mapapaiyak ka na lang talaga. Alam nyo, sundin nyo na lang ang billing ni Susan Roses. Huwag may hiyang magtanong. I mean, he was going to ask, hi, so what do you want to be called as? You want to be called a ma'am, a sir, he or she? What's your preferred pronouns? So that we may be able to properly address you as a person. And to us, that's very, very comforting because people are reaching out and trying to understand who we are. And what we need now is a form of community who will accept us for being true to ourselves. Rule number six. And I quote one of the comments on Facebook, It's okay to be inquisitive, but not to the point of probing. So, napaisip pa talaga ako, guys. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? To be inquisitive is when you, like, genuinely ask questions without having to compromise the person's comfort. It's okay to ask about your current struggles as an LGBTQIA person. It's okay to ask what being a transgender is. It's okay to ask about your soji and everything. Pero may mga point talaga eh na nakakagikil. May approach ka. Uy sis, may titi ka pa ba? O may pepe ka na ba? Like... Girl, does that even matter? Ano bang paki mo kung meron ako nun or wala? It's none of your fucking businesses. Why do you have to ask? Like, I don't see any valid point as to why someone has to ask about the genitalia of a trans person. So please just stop. Oh, ito, ito pa malala. Itatanong sa mga LGBT couples. Ha, o oh, sino yung babae sa inyo? O oh, sino yung lalaki sa inyo? Like, hindi ba pwedeng parehong lalaki? Hindi ba pwedeng parehong babae? To all people out there, why do you feel like it's the norm to be in a girl-boy relationship that you have to force LGBT relationships into that kind of mold? Ay, nako, kung sa alam ko lang, ang dami-daming cheaters sa mga ganyang klaseng relasyon na ayaw kung mapunta dyan. At may araw din kayo. Uh, rule number seven. Backhanded compliments are a no. Ito yung tipong sasabihan ka na, Wow, mas mabahay ka pa sa akin, o mas lalaki ka pa sa akin. O, wow, ang ganda-ganda mo naman. Sa ganyang estado. Yung mga ganong klaseng compliments daw, pwede mo naman sabihin, ang ganda mo, period. Pero hindi, kailangan mo pa talagang sabihin, ang ganda mo. Para sa ganyang katawan. Kasi when you start saying na, mas mabahay ka pa sa akin. Like, for example, ito na lang. Have you ever heard a straight cisgender girl compliment another straight cisgender girl by saying, "Mas babae ka pa sa akin"? Di ba hindi? The reason why they're doing that is because they're reinforcing the idea that we are separate to real women. Hindi po totoo yon. We are just as women as you are. At minsan mas maganda pang akin. Ito pa backhanded compliment naman sa mga guys. Sayang. Ang pogi-mogi mo pa naman. Akala mo ba, nakaka-fragile yun para sa lalaki? Hindi po sayang ang pagiging LGBT member because we are just as valid as anybody is. Tunay na sayang po talaga ay yung boto nyo sa eleksyon na ito na sana ginamit para sa tama. Sana may maganda tayong mga presidente ngayon. Sana may maganda tayong mga senators. Pero di kayo bumoto. Actually, ako rin hindi ako bumoto. So please, I urge you guys to register August the 
September, open na ulit ang registrations. Number 8. Never ever exploit the plight of the LGBTQIA community for your own personal selfish agenda. So, ito po yung tinatawag na rainbow capitalism. So, what does that mean? Have you guys noticed your timelines? And dami pong mga kumpanya na nag-change into a rainbow flag. And now that it's July, now that Pride Month is over, tingnan nyo, nawala po lahat yon. And are they still being supportive as an advocate? I don't think so because the reason why they did this is because they're riding with Pride Month. It doesn't feel like they're being true supporters because that kind of support only lasted during that specific month wherein patok na patok ang pagiging LGBT. And I think that's exploitation. Pinagkakakitaan nyo lang talaga kami. If you are truly being an ally, what you're supposed to do is to really accept us, love us, and take care of our rights for the entire existence of our lives until we have reached that kind of goal. Hindi dahil nagkaroon lang ng Pride Month, simula at titigil lang kanyang mga suporta. Rule number nine, to be a true LGBTQIA ally, you must be able to educate yourself clearly and maturely when it comes to our soji and with our plight. What's the point of being an LGBTQIA ally if you're not going to attempt to understand our struggle, if you're not going to attempt to understand who we are as a community, aalamin mo kung bakit nagkakaganito kami, kung bakit kailangan ipaglaban ang aming mga karapatang pantao sa hukom. So I hope you put an initiative into understanding who we are and understanding what SOGI is, even kahit konting-konti lang, just so that you reach that kind of level wherein you're confident enough to say that I know who you guys are. And then lastly, rule number 10, donate to me for my future surgeries. Cheka, hindi joke lang. And rule number 10, love your LGBT friends for who they are. Because just as the Bible said, love your neighbors just as you love yourself. The very end goal of what we have to do as an ally is to really be compassionate, to be understanding, to be loving, and to be caring for those who are currently marginalized as a community. It is your obligation to really hug us, accept us for who we are, and make us realize that there are those outside our community who will be there to help us despite everything. I just hope that you find it in you guys to really extend your helping hand. That's a true calling to be an ally. Just be able to love and be inquisitive, be understanding, and truly be genuine when it comes to your actions. I do hope that you guys find it in you to be allies. In the very end, mga tao lang din talaga kami. So, sana ma-realize you din. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys want more content like this, do not hesitate to comment down below. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share to the world the love that we are giving to each and every one of you. So, once again, this has been Gigi here para magbaganda for you guys. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!